Pep Guardiola's Man City side look ahead to their Derby Day clash with Manchester United. Gianluigi Donnarumma could be on his way to Chelsea. And can the home nations secure the 2030 World Cup? All that and much more coming up in this episode. I'm Julius Reimer and welcome to the Weekly Wrap. It's been a simply phenomenal season for Pep Guardiola and his men as they look unstoppable, having now not lost a game since last November. Their victory against Wolves equaled a club record of 28 games unbeaten. But this weekend, they faced their biggest rivals, Manchester United, who looked the only side that could seemingly catch them. After the game in midweek, Guardiola insisted that this would be their toughest challenge yet. Here's what he had to say. The records go on, 21 wins in a row, 28 unbeaten. You match your own club record. I mean, it's a remarkable achievement, isn't it? Uh, Man United. <laughs> this is That's the, your concentration. Man right? United is the only care. We're going to buy the records and everything I've done in the league when will be over. So, Man United. Now, moving away from the cold of the English Midlands to the glitz and glamour of Milan. Having seemingly solved their problem between the sticks in the signing of Eduard Mendy, Chelsea are now in the race to sign one of Europe's biggest prospects, Gianluigi Donnarumma. The 22-year-old goalkeeper has made over 200 appearances for the Rossonieri despite his young age, but has yet to win any major silverware. It has long been known that he had wanted to stay at Milan, but with his contract up at the end of the season, it seems that no new deal has yet been made. Reports suggest that the Italian will look for a contract between nine to ten million pounds a year, but some fans feel that either a striker or a defender should be Chelsea's priority. And staying in the sphere of the transfer market, for any Manchester United fans out there, this is a story that is sure to excite. It seems that Real Madrid are more than willing to allow one of their star centre-backs, Rafael Varane, to leave the Bernabeu this summer and head off to Old Trafford. The 27-year-old has not yet agreed a new deal with Los Blancos and the Spanish Giants have conceded that he will no longer be staying at the club. This may be the centre-back saviour that Man United fans have been crying out for. But any more mishaps like this and Harry Maguire 2.0 could be on the cards. Now, you might associate Sky Sports' Alan McAnally as the iconic pitch side commentator on FIFA or as a cool, calm and collector presenter on your TV. But I'm not sure that any of you have heard this side of him before. Freddie Lopardo's stunning 96th minute winner for Rotherham against Sheffield Wednesday in midweek brought out his best Ray Hudson impression. Take a look at this. With the chance of a potential Euros in the UK this summer, fans can look ahead to 2030 for a potential home World Cup. The Prime Minister Boris Johnson has come forward to let the public know that he intends to bring the World Cup back to the home of football. In a recent interview with his son, he said, I do think it's the right time, it's the right place, it's the home of football. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing for the country. We want to see a bonanza of football in the years ahead. A feasibility study will continue to see whether there's a realistic option for the home nations before the actual bidding begins in 2022, but already clubs such as Aston Villa have drawn up plans for their stadium to meet FIFA's expectations in nine years' time. Well, that's it for this week's edition of the Weekly Wrap. I hope you enjoyed yourself and please do come back next week for the latest episode. Goodbye for now.